Hey, everybody, around Stubby Oker, Go Hills TV, powered by JBS, bringing more to the table. Coach Zach Newton joins me now after we get in a high V Warrior win here today. The Warriors uh, go to 6 0 1 on the uh, season against Western Iowa Tech. And, uh, Coach, we were chatting here before we got going. Uh, obviously, uh, we get the 3 0 win. Uh, it's better to win, obviously, but uh, I get the sense that uh, you thought your team certainly had more to offer today. Uh, definitely. we You could tell we haven't played in two weeks. Um, it was sloppy. Um, we, we definitely played down to their level. Nothing against Western Iowa Tech, but we definitely played down to their level today. Um, yeah, it was it was definitely disappointing by our standards. I mean, we had 20-something shots on goal. So the fact that we was we only left with a 3-0 win, we definitely did not play like the third-ranked team in the country right now. So, I mean, uh, yes, a bit of rust. Um, definitely two week, uh, two weeks of no games doesn't help to, to keep us sharp. So hopefully we can fix this at practice and get back at it. All right. Uh, let's talk about the, the goal. Uh, Manzano gets the, gets the game off. You give a couple other guys some chances uh, here in uh, Sotomayor. And then in the second half, you went with Trulis. Uh, your evaluation of, of both of them and what you saw today. I think at the goalkeeper position, we're, we're definitely pretty solid. Um, you know, if Bernardo's out or if he's not playing, um, it's nice to see that Jacopo and uh, Ugo can definitely do the job. So, no, I think they did well. Um, they made saves when they needed to make saves. I don't think they did anything too risky or dangerous, which was good. Um, but no, I was very happy with how they did, probably more so than majority of our field players, to be honest today. Uh, goal, two goals from Daniel Malero. He is your leading goal scorer. Uh, the one uh, on the corner, he puts it in. So obviously, we see that as a as a you know a fun, exciting play, but uh, it's not a high percentage play uh, throughout the season. So talk a little bit about uh, his two goals, and then uh, you know what you wanted to see on offense today that you didn't see. Um, I wanted to see us be a bit more aggressive, especially when we won the ball and counterattacking situations, and we weren't. Um, we were way too slow. We weren't as direct, um, you know, in finding through passes. Uh, um, that's, that's probably the biggest thing today. I think we didn't do a good enough job of, you know, definitely looking to exploit the space that left him behind. They had a very flat high line, and we didn't exploit that enough. Um, we didn't combine very well in wide areas, um, you know, just in terms of one-two plays, just trying to draw out plays. We didn't do a very good job of that. So um, uh, in terms of high percentage plays, uh, <laughs> Danny's shot was good. He tr obviously tried to replicate it again for a second shot, which <laughs> was a little bit frustrating. So there's only so many times that can work. It's usually a one-off, um, and then he tried to do it a second time. Um, he was definitely feeling in his element. Danny played very, very well today. I think when he was on, um, a lot of stuff happened. But I think my biggest issue with today is, you know, it's it's a team sport. You can't just rely on one person to, to finish and get the goals. And we need other guys to step up. And a lot of guys did not step up today. Um, overall, health-wise, still some guys I don't see out there, I assume, for uh, health purposes and things. What, what, what can you give us on any updates on anybody and that's not in the lineup due to health? Um, yeah, uh, Piri's, Piri's getting back into fitness. Um, I think he should be back pretty soon. And then Tariq, uh, Bailey, he should be back soon as well, hopefully. So, uh, yeah, Bailey's definitely a big loss on defense that we saw today. Um, I think Piri, just when we have games when you see 20 shots on goal and, and only three goals, and that's a very low-scoring game with that amount of shots, um, you know, Piri's in. I know he's not... You know, he's, uh, his goal-to-shot ratio is very good. So um, definitely not having him is a bit of a loss. But, I mean, we've we performed without him in games as well. So it's just, you know, we need the guys. And like I said, maybe it's just the two weeks off. That's really kind of put us in a bit of a funk. Um, but, you know, we, d we definitely got to be better there. So hopefully those two guys coming back will be a big boost for us. All right, Coach, you've got Jefferson uh, coming in here on Sunday. Uh, that's a three scheduled 3 o'clock start. The women will play first. It is a doubleheader. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you know about Jefferson? What do you expect to see out of them? Uh, I expect them to be, you know, a scrappy team. Um, you know, I think they haven't been performing as well as what they've done in the past. And uh, But I think our mindset going into this game is that we, we need to treat every game. Like, we're in a we're in a good position right now. You know, we, we're, we're doing well in the rankings. Um, you know, good. it's a very, very good start. But just we have to treat it like every game is a must-win game. And... Um, Jefferson could cause us some problems if we play like we did today. So we need to make sure that we sharpen these things up. 
um, on offense and defense before going into that game because they're a team that do have some weapons that can hurt us if we're not uh, if we're not careful. Well, and obviously coaches never like excuses and don't want to hear them uh, from their players, which you did mention. You know, we haven't played in two weeks, so uh, I'm sure that you'll be even more frustrated Sunday if you don't see uh, some things tightened up uh, because there won't be that. Well, we haven't played in, in, in two weeks, obviously. So, mm-hmm. uh, now, and now you're, you know, you're you're into the heart of getting into the heart of this thing now. And uh, there's going to be being ranked number three and having the success. I'm sure your guys, and I'm sure the message you guys is. I mean, there's there's now a target out there that everybody when they play you, they want to prove that uh, they can hang with a high ranked team. Yeah, yeah. And next week in particular is going to be a very tough stretch of games. We've got Cali, who's um, you know just under us in the rankings, and they're always a very competitive team, very talented team, very well coached. Um, so they, they will be a team that, you know, I like I told our guys, if we play like we did today against Cali, they're going to murder us. That's just the reality. Um, and then you have Illinois Central, who's also ranked. Um, you know, they're just inside the top 25, and they're a pretty good team as well. So next week is going to be very, very tough. So, you know, I would have liked to have played one more game to prepare for this stretch. Um, you know, so the Crowder game getting cancelled is pretty frustrating. Um, but, you know, hopefully the guys just work hard at practice and we can get going. All right, Coach, congrats on the win, and uh, we'll see you on Sunday. It's a high-B Warrior win today. The Warriors get their sixth win of the season to go along with no losses and one uh, tie. We're ranked number three in the country, and we'll be back here on Sunday against Jefferson for the entire crew. Uh, here on Go Hills TV, powered by JBS, I'm Russ W. Oker saying so long, everybody.